up in her, throw up the sex in her. Uh huh. And I can put you in. my channel my name is wendy this is wendy with the eye and on this channel you basically are going to be seeing what i have my eye on when it comes to fashion beauty lifestyle travel um basically anything and everything that i love and i love to talk about um i also take requests so like if you have anything that you want me to talk about i definitely can do that too i have a few things lined up um but we'll get to that in future videos so all right so if you want to see me beat my face stay tuned all right guys just remember that everything that i'm using is down below i might not um be able to um call out the names of these items um as i'm kind of talking through what i'm doing but um everything will be down in, below in the order that i use them so just remember that okay so we started with the milk um hydro grip primer it's my favorite primer it is super sticky i love it i use it all the time um so yeah that i think for me that is like probably my holy grail just love it um so after that i started to go in with some foundation at the top and i believe i'm using the nars um it's one of the nars um foundations i can't remember which one but again it will be down below um on you saw on the bottom of my face i put um some orange concealer and I think that is from NYX. Um, again, <laughs> everything will be down below, but it's a color corrector basically. Um, so I don't know if you could tell, but my face is a little darker on the bottom. And so when I use that color corrector, it kind of even out, evens out my skin. And so that's why I like to use that um, sometimes. So, so yeah. So here I'm continuing to go in with the NARS foundation and just smoothing it all out, getting it right. Um, yeah, so I think the next thing I'm doing, yep, the next thing I'm doing is concealing. So this is the Pat McGrath concealer. And I think honestly, it's probably a little bit too light for my liking. <laughs> I, it works, you'll see as I blend it out um, that it definitely does work, but I feel like I want to try a maybe a little darker shade in the Pat McGrath concealer but I do really love the concealer I think the concealer is pretty great um the consistency of it I think it just just you know glides on smooth and you can blend it out really well um it is one of my favorite concealers along with the Fenty concealer those are the two concealers that I use the most I also use um, one of the NARS concealers, or the NARS concealer, I think they only have one, um, but that is kind of a, that is a far and away third <laughs> to the Pat McGrath and the Fenty concealers for me. So, but yeah, so we also talked about um, these brushes in the last um, video that I did, the, the makeup video that I did. These are the, um, they're shaped the same. It's three brushes that I have from Pat McGrath. And I also saw that like, some other brand um, at Sephora is carrying 
brushes that looks like look like this the Pat McGrath um, brushes are quite expensive <laughs> um, so I feel like if like if you got it then definitely get those because I really love them but I'm also going to link um, those other options I want to say it's Selena Gomez's brand but I'm not sure rare beauty but I'm not 100% sure but I do know there are some dupes out there and I will also link them below um, just in case you're interested and don't want to pay that Pat McGrath coin so the next thing I'm doing here is I'm setting that um, concealer um, I definitely have uh, some kind of under eye baggage going on there and so setting the concealer is a must for me I'm using um, the Beauty Bakery yellow powder I love this powder I think it's amazing um, as soon as I tried it I was like this is the powder for me and I haven't really gone back to any other powders or tried any new powder powder since so I am really a fan and an advocate for that Beauty Bakery powder so here I am, and you'll be able to see it when I come to this side. Yep, you see it right there. Um, I am contouring, bronzing. Um, this is a, I think they call, I think they do call it a bronzer. And it's it's a little red, so I don't know. It's it, either or, I would call it either or. But it is the Minted Beauty uh, bronzer. And it's their, their darkest shade. And I really, oh man, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. And I think a lot of you do too, because I've had a few people ask me about it. So um, it is minted. And I'm also um, now a minted affiliate. And so I will definitely leave my, um, my discount code down below. So if you get anything from the minted website, you can use that and get 15% off. Just wanted to let you guys know. So I finished concealing or bronzing and now it is time for some blush. And so I'm using here um, the, the trio uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I used in the last one. That's pretty much my go-to. Now um, I'm going to be doing an upcoming Sephora haul and you'll see that I got um, a new blush and I'm super excited to try it out. Um, but for now, this is the blush that I'm using. So now I'm just spraying my face with some setting powder or not setting powder, setting spray. <laughs> and yeah, just trying to get it to, to dry. So before I get into my eyes, I do need to do my eyebrows. So I think I go back to that. Yep, I go back to that. And I think that pencil is just a, like a beauty supply pencil, some, a pencil that I got from the beauty supply. And it is a dark brown. I don't think it's black, it's dark brown. Um, I tend to find that like, if I do like a deep black, it's just, I look, I don't know, it's too dark. It's too dark to me. Um, my eyebrows are really short <laughs> at the ends. So I always have to like draw them in um, as I'm doing them. And I don't really do anything super crazy. I just kind of like fill them in where they might not be as full. And then this pencil here, I think I actually got that on Amazon. Um, it's just, it's a dupe for, I think Maybelline is the one that has the, like the tattoo brow. That's kind of what it is. And so, eh, it's okay. I just, you know, go over it, go over my eyebrows with that. And then that was the e.l.f. Um, setting, brow setter. So now I'm using the Artist Couture palette which is no longer, I can't find it anywhere. So I'll try to find something similar and link it below, but I really love this palette. It's so vibrant and just full of color. Um, the first color I'm using is kind of my base color. So it's similar to my um, natural, natural skin color. Um, just putting it all around the lid so that it can, you know, just act as a base for um, the other colors that I'm going to put on my lid. Next 
next I'm going in with that dark brown shade. I'm doing that outer V or the V on the outside of my lid um, just to give it like a little bit of depth and get ready for that third color that's coming in. a better job at blending but you know I'm not <laughs> I'm not a beauty guru um but I definitely I do what I do you know I do what I can but um yeah I like the way it turned out anyways but back to it so I wanted to go with a purple purple's like one of my favorite colors along with green to use on my eyes purple green and blue are the my favorite colors to use on my eyes so you'll see in the beginning, I just put on, um, <laughs> I just put on um, the shade without just dry. And then the second go round, I sprayed some setting spray and I went in there and you can see it's a lot more vibrant now um, because it's wet. So that's a, that's a tip. If you want your colors to come out more vibrant, make sure that your brush is wet use um like setting spray not water setting spray and um yeah it'll get the job done so now i'm going back with i'm just kind of doing um doing the steps in reverse just so that everything gets a little bit more blended um so i did like the color and then i went back with um the brush that did the outer V in the eye. And I didn't put any additional product on the brush. I just was kind of like going back in with that. Um, right now I am lining my under eye uh, with an Urban Decay liner. It is, um, obviously you can see it's kind of, it's dark purple. And then in my inner corner, I think I'm doing like a dark purple kind of shade as well there. So just kind of like a monochromatic look on the eye. So here I am, I don't think I did this in the last video, but I don't have like a ton of eyelashes. They're really small um, and short, uh, but I do like to curl them before I put mascara on. And when I do put mascara on, I think that it makes my eyelashes look really pretty and really nice. And so um, I keep debating back and forth if I'm going to go get some eyelash extensions, but I think for now we're good. Now I did attempt <laughs> to put mascara on the bottom lash and I do this all the time. Like I, I got to figure this out. Um, I bumped my skin and so... Um, I'm trying to clean up that mascara that went in my under eye or went on my under eye and it was just really hard. And so what I opted to do, which you'll see here in a second, is I just relined and then I put a thicker, <laughs> a thicker layer of um, that color on the bottom to kind of try to cover it up and it wasn't planned but I think it kind of worked so I was happy with it so just finishing up mascara top lash and I think <laughs> yep I tried to go in again on the bottom lash and that time it was a little bit successful I mean they're there they're there you can't I mean yeah they're they're there <laughs> Um, so now I am outlining my lips with, um, it's just a brown liner. Really, honestly, any brown liner will do, your fave will do, um, but I will definitely link um, that one that I was using down below. And then again, this is another minted item. Um, I can't remember the name of this one, but like, minted has the best, I think, black girl friendly, brown girl friendly um, nude lipsticks and that one is definitely my favorite so so this is the finished look guys this is um yeah this is what i got oh 
One more thing, gotta spray my face. Gotta make it last. That's it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Everything.